Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osaiwame Sale, and today, EC and I are on the show. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing, EC? I'm very well, thank you. How, How have, have you been? been? I've been okay, and you? It's been very interesting, EC. Today was, oh, today it's not over so let me not say it was today is, is it's been it's been very hectic for I me feel you. like i have eye, eye bags you know um today successfully we were able to execute a project that you know i told you guys that um uh, an ngo reached out to me from the uk to yes. give palliatives to families and today we successfully delivered food items, hygiene items wow. to about 200 families that's amazing yeah amazing but wow. hey I mean, it was really stressful. I really give kudos to every Everybody. single person that I see on Instagram going to distribute palliative. Oh Especially boy! Especially during the lockdown. I'm not doing it again. It <laughs> is not. No, it is literally not easy to organize people. And on top of that, you see them insulting you. Is it because of the common rights you want to give me for that you real? want to? You know, yeah. It was. It was really, really. But you know what? I looked at it. I said, I'm not doing it for you. Exactly. So I mean, those things. I, I'm, I'm used to it because it I mean matter. the. I mean the NGO space. Mm -hmm. So I'm used to those kind of people you know but it was so really really fun skin towards yeah like so it was so interesting we now got to um, a place where all the food items had finished but we still had um we still had the what's it called the hygiene items that unilever supported us with okay. so we we're giving them only the hygiene but you needed to have seen the appreciation Aww. meanwhile the ones that got complete food stuff they were not appreciated they were like ah, ah, is it is it ah. i said oh my god that's well, a typical story. It's part of life. Exactly. Yeah, it's part of life. Exactly. So I, I really don't even hold them. No, there is them. no yeah. need. There's no need. So you've how have you been? You're, you've done what you're supposed to do. Yeah. I've been okay. Taking life as it comes. And thank God, looking forward to a brand new week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so. <laughs> this week has been all high. I, you can and say that again. <laughs> yeah. And I hope we end on that no, note we are gonna, as well. No, we are going to end on a high as well. For Absolutely. this weekend. Now, so this is what we found as today's quote. Economies that grow fastest and at more sustainable rate are those that actively promote trade and attract investment. This was a statement by President Muhammadu Buhari at the ninth summit of the G8 in Turkey in October 2017. Now, promote actively trade and investment. Attract investment. Mm. And also, I would, aside from that, I would also look at it from the angle of the fact that probably if the em environment or the state is, um, is, uh, ha doesn't have insecurity measures or insecurity problems, it's it, also... Then that is part of also attracting also, um, Exactly, of attracting so, good investment. I mean, he, well. he made this statement in 2017 at the GSM. So I'm thinking, mm. okay, so what measures are from this that you've said, you understand? Have you put in place? Have you put in place in terms of attracting? Because guess what? This is the biggest complaint that a lot of investors have in Nigeria. I complain about. Especially investors. How mm -hmm. do we secure an investment when we know that whenever there's change in power or there's whatever, whatever, things just go. There is no continuity. There's no continuity. Look at what happened to some people that invested heavily in um, transportation business in Lagos through the go cards yes. and all of that. So and, um, when um, Governor Ambode left power and Governor Sonwulu Son came into power, everything I mean, went. a new law was passed and exactly. everything just, you know, so just imagine how much investors would have lost in that process. And so, I mean, it's no very key. It. And that's why I think that is the biggest problem I think we have in Nigeria, where we're not able to secure an investor's fund. And also, I think, um, credibility, if you are not able to trust the government, mm, that it's still, part of the, it's still part of the putting measures in place to ensure exactly. that you secure their funds. Exactly. All right, so today we're talking about national budget and accountability, and we have Olusheon Unikbinde to talk to us. But first, let's take a quick break for what's in the news. Mm.